If you want to know more about politics, you should definitely watch our picks for the best political TV shows. But you nonetheless are, without a doubt, a member of the worst period, generation, period, ever, period. So when you ask what makes us the greatest country in the world, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good TV show again. Number 10. Veep 2012. I want to offer Jonah the VP slot. What? What? Yeah, it's the only move we have left now, and we're going to have to get it done today. Veep is a political satire comedy television series created by Armando Lanucci. Defined by truly shocking political honesty combined with even harsher satire and comedy, Veep is the ultimate satire revolving around modern politics and quite often striking absurdity. We follow extremely direct and cynical vice president of the U.S., Selena Meyer, who, with her team, tries to make a great legacy and leave their mark, only to fight against the day-to-day -day political games that may mock them in pleasure. Fuck the numbers! I will not be part of a campaign, let alone an administration that includes Jonah Ryan as vice president. That is an entirely unacceptable outcome. Amy, you want to talk some sense into him? Don't do it. What? Number 9. The Loudest Voice, 2019. And that's something Fox was in the middle of exposing before you tied my hands. There is nothing to expose. Besides, I endorsed McCain. Way too late, Rupert. Way too late. The Loudest Voice is a 2019 drama miniseries created by Tom McCarthy and Alex Metcalf. It tells the story of Roger Ailes, who molded Fox News into one of the most powerful, influential media networks in history. The series focuses primarily on the 2010s, in which he became one of the most prominent figures in modern American conservatism. While flashing back to defining events, including the 9-11 attacks, the U.S. presidential election of 2008 and 2016, and the sexual harassment accusations that ended his career. And I have delivered to you the number one news network in this country. No one else could have done that. And I value your contribution. My contributions, which are roughly around $500 million a year in profit, based off my ideas, my formats, and my editorial decisions. Number 8. The Good Wife, 2009. Don't worry, I'm not going to divorce you. You're too valuable to me professionally, just like I am to you. But we're not going to see each other anymore. The Good Wife is a legal and political drama television series created by Robert and Michelle King. Showcasing the complexity of politics from a female standpoint, The Good Wife once more introduces shocking scandals into its premise to deliver a fresh and new attempt. We follow Alicia Florick, the wife of the Cook County State Attorney. After a heavy weighing sex scandal involving her husband, she decides to restart her career in law. But after 13 years as a stay-at-home mom, she must adapt to the modern politics as soon as possible. You need me at a political event? You call the office. My assistant will put it on my calendar. Really? I'm not finished. You are free to see and sleep with whomever you like. But I don't want to know, and under no circumstances. Number 7. Borgen, 2010. Send an person in exile. Absolutely. No, it would have been very unexpected if this could come there too. Borgen is a Danish political drama television series created by Adam Price, exploring a very modern and therefore extremely relevant theme of modern politics. Borgen focuses on a female politician who, against all odds, manages to become the first female prime minister of Denmark. But at Borgen, the place in the country where all three branches of Danish government reside, there are no friends nor allies. Soon, we witness how corruption and grief find their way into the heart of the government. Anna, skulle få vide komme. Hvad er den mands dagsorden? Den er hans egen. Det kan du være helt sikker på. Men han har også sådan ret. Der er en del danske politikere, der er blevet sendt til Bruxelles, som man aldrig hører om siden. I Bruxelles kan ingen høre dig skrige. Number 6. House of Cards, 1990. Oh, no, no, no. I'm the chief whip. Merely a functionary. I keep the troops in line. House of Cards is a political thriller television series created by Bo Willman. Not to be mistaken with the famous modern Netflix series, this House of Cards series is set after the end of Margaret Thatcher's tenure as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Adapted from a brilliant novel, the show follows Chief Whip of the Conservative Party Frances Urquhart, 
led only by amoral intentions. His goal is to gain as much power as possible in the government. And it's all worth it, wouldn't you say? Oh, well, since you ask, no. Because I happen to think there's at least one man who'd make a much better leader. You might think that, Matty. I couldn't possibly comment. Number five. The Newsroom, 2012. You don't look satisfied. One's a set of laws and the other's a declaration of war. I want a human moment from you. The Newsroom is a political drama television series created by Aaron Sorkin. Within times of the modern age, things become increasingly complicated in terms of media. And this show offers an extremely interesting inside view into the backstage of modern news companies. We follow the staff of the fictional Atlantis Cable News, including anchor Will McAvoy, who set out to put on a news show in the face of corporate and commercial obstacles, which will bring them some unexpected results. Now, none of this is the fault of a 20-year-old college student, but you nonetheless are, without a doubt, a member of the worst period, generation, period, ever, period. So when you ask what makes us the greatest country in the world, I don't know what the f you're talking about. Yosemite? Number four. Parks and Recreation, 2009. We move in there. I'll take the west wing, you take the east wing, and you can be the first gentleman. Actually, that sounds kind of great. <laughs> Parks and Recreation is a political satire sitcom television series created by Greg Daniels and Michael Schur. This mockumentary-style filmed cynical depiction of the business world follows the inner workings of the Parks and Recreation Department of the fictional town Pawnee. While main protagonist Leslie Nope, a true workaholic, believes in the government and its job, she finds herself challenged when overrun by bureaucracy and red tape. Together with her weird allies, she must overcome many obstacles as they pursue sundry projects to make their city a better place. The reason you're here is, I'm told, you've done such a great job in your town and in the state of Indiana, and I just want to say congratulations for your public service. And I just want to say thank you. Well, you, you, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Number three, House of Cards, 2013. I latched onto him early on and made myself vital. After 22 years in Congress, I can smell which way the wind is blowing. House of Cards is a political thriller television series created by Bo Williman. People are able to do unexpected things when confronted with power, including Frank Underwood, a congressman in Washington, D.C., who was passed over for appointment as Secretary of State. Now he sees his chance to gain political power as the country's leader. He initiates a long-term plan on his journey through a world of politics that is formed by mistrust, betrayal, and lies. But Frank knows how to use this system. Well, he must be on top of the world. I, I can't imagine. Oh, really? How old are you, 35? 36. Oh, you've never thought about it late at night? White House? What else? Have you? Haven't we all? Number two, The Wire, 2002. Hey, it was getting good. It's unmonitored. It's what? It's unmonitored. We can't listen to a conversation on unmonitored payphone. What's that mean? The Wire is a crime drama television series created by David Simon. This classic exploration of corrupt politics, drug wars, and urban crime becomes famous through its diverse interpretation of modern crime drama. Throughout several seasons, we explore a variety of dark literary themes in society and politics. We get to know the urban life, portrayed in police fights, questionable bureaucracy, the usage of news, and how all that affects the educational system. But it's not only about crime, it's how the people of Baltimore live together. More bullshit. Detective, this right here, this is the job. Now, when you came downtown to CID, what other kind of work were you expecting? Before we unveil TV show number one, here are some honorable mentions. Obviously, we are in communication with the president. So lie. Yes, lie, in the interest of national security. You can imagine how the stock market alone would react to the news we misplaced the president. Um, should I inform the deputy secretary, Madam President? You didn't make it to that dinner tonight. Because I didn't want to go. Why would I, Fitz? so I could sit in the corner with the other housewives and force myself to watch you run with the big dogs across the room. Guess what? I am a big dog. And have done some bad fucking things. I've always known why 
And when I look into the face of another bad man, I see his deeds and I know his fucking soul. Number one. The West Wing, 1999. Seems to me we've all been taking a little break. Thinking about our personal lives or thinking about keeping our jobs. The West Wing is a political drama television series created by Aaron Sorkin. Often featured in lists revolving around the best TV shows of all time, The West Wing is the early work of genius author Aaron Sorkin and explores the ambivalent nature of modern politics. The setting is located in the West Wing of the White House, where the Oval Office and the presidential senior staff are located. During the election of the president, we witness how important, or maybe even how destructive, this part may be. 137 have been taken into custody in Miami and are seeking asylum. With the clothes on their back, they came through a storm. And the ones that didn't die want a better life than they wanted here. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular TV show in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 TV show videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.